definitely something different, but I couldn't resist it when I saw it in the store. Now, if you have kids or you're just a grown up who enjoys Legos and there's nothing wrong with that, you know that Legos are ridiculously expensive these days. And I grew up building Lego sets. I love them. I think they're a creative toy. I think they're great for the brain and they're a lot of fun. But you can tell that there are a lot of sets these days that are marketed to the older generation specifically. And I understand this is not a true Lego set. This is brick craft, but this is an officially licensed brick building kit. And of course, these would all be compatible with real Lego. However, um, you know, over the weekend, I took my kids to Walmart just to look around. They each had some, some chore and allowance money that they wanted to spend. It was burning a hole in their pockets. We were in the Lego aisle. And there were a couple sets that I saw that caught my eye that, of course, they walked right by because they didn't even recognize and understand. And it occurred to me that most kids, all kids, really wouldn't even understand. And it was up to me and my generation to get what these things were marketing. And, and it, I realized they were, they were really aiming for the adult generation. And uh, I know that there are a lot of adults who collect and build, um, but this is really one of the first times that I've seen, there are some more mature Lego sets out there that, yeah, probably they have an older customer base in mind, but still you would give it to a, you give it to a child and they'd recognize it and maybe want to build it. But the two sets I saw really, you'd have to be <laughs> not a child. You'd have to be a grown up to get and to enjoy. And there was this one, and of course the MTV Moon Man. And MTV for a long time has not been the MTV of the days of the boom box and the moon man. So I got this because it was the smaller of the two and I figured it would just be fun to put together and take a look at. And this probably is going to be a pretty small kit and a pretty small build. So we'll take a look at it here. Um, but it just really did excite me because I'm a child of the 80s. I grew up in the 80s. Uh, born in the very late 70s though, you know, growing up in the 80s, teenager in the 90s, uh, when MTV, I gotta say it, I hate to sound like that old guy, but MTV was still all about the music. And uh, just in my teenage years, did they start the reality show stuff? And it has become what it is today. Um, but let's, let's do this. Let's build this little guy and have some fun. I love it that it's got these bright colors to it which again is very 80s with the neon, which was uh, quite in fashion then. And take a look at the pieces. So they're very Lego-esque pieces. Um, you see they don't have the raised Lego, um, you know, designs on them, but they're very recognizable as what would be pieces in a Lego set. Now, I understand that there's a lot of, uh, patent and stuff that goes on. I know that there's a, a few different imitation Lego sets, Lego brands out there. Um, I'm not commenting on whether that's good or bad, but this is the company that makes this, so I'm gonna build this. So we are gonna start with this guy and this guy. We need two of them. Um, and I still I still do build Legos with my kids. Am I on the, I am on the wrong page with my kids and uh, I have the magic dad skill of peace finding whenever something is missing. Sorry, I was on the wrong page starting. So they can't find a piece and they're like, hey, dad, I can't find a piece. I walk in and I've got that piece found in about 30 seconds. And they're just like, I don't know, how'd you do that? And I say, hey, it's, it's dad skills. But really it's a lifetime of growing up building Legos um, and the old, the old space sets that I loved so much um, back in the day. Uh, it's the old knights and castle sets that I loved so much back in the day. Um, I just, I did grow up, among other things, G.I. Joe's, Transformers, He-Man, um, and a lot of the more obscure 80s toys. But Lego was always, always, always on my birthday, on my Christmas list on any time there was a present involved. Um, if I could get something 
it was going to be a Lego. So anyway, I'm going to put on some cool 80s music, 80s-esque music, and let's just build this guy up. And we're done. Not too long a process. Obviously, it's small, but it's, I hate to use the word cute, but <clears throat> it is cute. I purposely put this label on a little crooked because I wanted it to just have that look of like, just scribbled on real quick, making a mixtape. Uh, man, I made mixtapes. Oh, did I make mixtapes back in the day. But this is, this is cool. I really like it. And this will sit on a shelf and uh, I can't wait to explain this to my nine-year-old um, funny story true story from about 2000 and it's got to be either 14 or 15 Tyndall Air Force Base Florida um, I was the NCOIC non-commissioned officer in charge of a, in a section called current operations and um, I had some very young airmen working for me. I'm talking kids who just joined the Air Force, 18, 19, 20 years old. Um, we were in charge of scheduling missions and, and anything. And anyway, we were cleaning out some some drawers and, and uh, some old areas. And, and one of them found, I'm not even exaggerating, there's some floppy disks and uh, three and a half inch floppy disks and some cassettes. And they just had a collection of other things up at the front desk. And, you know, that they found cleaning up and they said, hey, tech sergeant. I'm like, yeah, we don't know what to do with these. And I'm like, well, what do you mean? And they go, we don't, we don't know what they are. I'm like, what do you mean? And I'm thinking like, they don't know what they are in terms of like, they don't know where they go. They don't know like who they belong to, the, something like that. But like they, they held up the floppy and the cassette tape and they were like, we don't. We don't know what these things are. 
We, we and I like legit. They didn't know what they were, and I was just like, "Oh my god, get me out of here!" But it was re really one of the funniest things because this eighteen or nineteen year old little female airman legitimately did not know what to do with a cassette tape. Um, so I just this is a really cool anyway. Side note story: this is a really cool little thing. You can put your your little mixtape in the boom box and close it up um, and you can move your end. You can put your antenna away so you can listen to your tape when you're not listening to your FM. Did anybody listen to AM on a boom box? Come on. Um, for me, just to give you an example, um, growing up in New York City, it was either Z100, 100.3, 92.3, 92.7, Kiss FM was another good channel. Um, 104, 104 point, there are a lot of point threes. Uh, anyway, really cool, cool little set if you can get your hands on it. Like I said, at Walmart, it was like five bucks, I swear. Uh, maybe I'll get my hands on the Moon Man next and we'll do that one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, drop a like. If you didn't, dislike, whatever. But I think this is a, this is a cool little, little set. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Definitely geared towards me and my old generation. I want my MTV. Have a great day.